Howdy doody, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> welcome to my channel. Hi guys, you're right. I'm back, mate. I couldn't stay off it. I missed you. My water smells of onion. Oh, I know I did. I had this in the fridge. I made sketty bolognese, speg bog as we call it in England. Oh, oh, I'm thirsty. Mmm. I chill this in the fridge, yeah? It don't taste of onion, but it smells of onion. Oh, mate. I put an onion in a pot and I put the lid on. It must have stunk the fridge up. Mmm. I've been really good lately. I never drink water. And I thought if I put it in the fridge, I'll drink it. I can only drink water with a straw. Because when I was younger, that's all we had was water. It's like council pop. That's what we used to call it. We couldn't have Coca-Cola. Couldn't afford it. Mmm. I'll tell you what I did used to like, though. You get it in America. Look at me. We used to get root beer in McDonald's. Oh, I used to love root beer. Mmm. In London, it's called sarsaparilla. You can still get it, but you can't get root beer. It costs you about, costs about £3.80 for a tin of um, root beer at the American shop. Oh, that's nice, but it's a bit oniony. <sighs> can you smell it? <laughs> if you've not been here before, I'm Kerry. Do you remember that bird that used to do that? Tiffany. What was her name? What did she do? That song. Oh, here we go. Another song. Oh, that Tiffany song. She said, didn't she? I can't remember the song. She was really gorgeous with red hair, like Burgundy, not Burgundy, Auburn hair. What was the song she did? Oh, it'll come. One of you will know. I know you will. And I kept getting this song in my head, right, while I was washing up. Run away, run away. Feel like I can run away, run away. It's the runner. We've got the runner. It's going to be calm with you, this read. Oh, I was going to get you some other cards and they're in my bedroom and I don't want to keep leaving you. Oh, poo. I've got some really nice Carmicky cards in there. I'm rolling a cigarette, sorry. Right, as I was saying, Kerry, yeah? <laughs> oh, that song by Tiffany. What was it? She said, du, 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 du. Oh, I'm really stuck on that now. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not very good. I'm very old. There's a long time ago. I used to dance to her in the mirror. I was at 14, I think, with my airbrush. You know how you do. Right, so it's not fake here at all. Like I always tell you, the only thing that's fake here is the eyebrows. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, look. Nothing else is fake. I can't be fake. So if you're looking for a fake tarot read that's going to be all fluffy, that is not to me. I had YouTube told me that they wouldn't pay me for my last video. Because there's problems with it. What did you see on there as a problem? I didn't. I don't think I even swore. I called someone a something. But I didn't say it out loud. I said they're an attention. They must have picked it up on the thing. Yeah, and then they told me I had no adverts and I didn't get paid for my um my video. I don't care. I was thinking about coming off the monetization because I can't speak how I want and I want to be like free speech. So, um... I know you get paid off adverts, but I'm not really in it for that, to be honest, and I'm not. So I might um, I might just do it and have, like, donations, because um, I didn't get on here to, like, do it for money. I do it for God. I work for God. And um, God pays me in other ways. I never go hungry. He blesses me with people that help me out. <clears throat> or my son buys me shopping. He bought me a month shopping last month. Oh, I'd lovely meat and that. But, um, yeah, so I don't know yet. I might come off monetization because um, it's not worth the hassle, to be honest. But I don't know how it works out. So I think you get paid by adverts, but I'm not sure because um, most of the money, I want I want to get a, um, a burger van. That's what I want to do. So I can work two days a week, and then the money I earn, I want to go and feed the homeless. That's what I want to do. Then I can get the food for them for free. Then I can go around all the homeless places. And um, I've always wanted to do it for years, but I've never had the money. But I, ha I did years ago, but I used to be work for the devil. So my money went on other stuff like drugs and that. <laughs> so, but now I'm like, 
I'm just in clean. I've been clean for years, like 10 years I've been clean. But um, I haven't smoked weed for about a year. Mm. When I talk about my past, it's like 10, 11 years ago. So um, I'm very honest with you on here because I got outed by my ex where I live and they got the wrong end of the stick about me. So um, where I live, everyone thinks I'm like the local prostitute, but I've been celibate for three years, nearly four years. It just shows how wrong they are, isn't it? <clears throat> I'd be loaded if I was on the game. Seriously. I would be. I used to do it years ago. I was a high-class escort in London and I don't ever lie about it because I've had a past. That's what brought me here. And uh, I met a lot of people. I know about a lot of people because I've met so many different kinds of people from all different spectrums of life. Posh people, people from the government, celebrity chefs, everything. And I've met the poorest people ever, the littlest old men you've ever met in your life that just wanted to chat. <laughs> so that's why I know men so well. Mm. If I stop talking, we might actually get somewhere. <laughs> You can tell I live alone, can't you? Oh no, here we go. Oh, here it is. We got a spiritual hater on our hands. Oh well, spiritual hater that actually hates the earth. Angel, da, da, da. what did I say about that song? Run away, run away, <laughs> run away, run away. Look at Ronnie, look. Wait for me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> they're running after they're running after them because they're that look quick quick pick me quick as you running away leave me alone I told you didn't I what's that song run away oh god from the city oh my mind's gone blank right you're going to celebrate, and you are, and this person don't like this at all. This is going to be karma key. To start off with that, this is going to be karma key, right? So we've got a spiritual hater that hates the fact that you're spiritual. Here we go. Come on, angels, protect me and keep me safe from anything evil. Don't let any demonic spirits enter me or interfere with my read like they've been doing all day. I don't even know what time it's about. One o'clock in the morning, yeah? I was going to go to bed, and I thought, no. I'll slap a couple of eyebrows and I'll come on for you. So, you're an earth angel. Hey, someone's tried to sabotage an earth angel, Wally. So, they're running scared now, and they are. They must be feeling the wrath of this now. Because you know what I reckon? I reckon they're seeing shadows, and I reckon your angels are playing with these people. And I do. And you know why? Because the angels are on your side. There's no angels on their side because they're a spiritual hater. See that big bit of smoke then? I look like a 50s, uh, one of them 50s people. You know them women? I like Charleston times. Won't you Charleston with me? That might resonate with you. Right, here we go. Excuse me of an evening. I'm quite hyper. I'm a night owl. I'm more awake in the night than I am in the day. And I've always been a night owl. My son's a night owl as well. And my granddaughter, she's a night owl. One of them. Right, let's put that down, Kerry. She won't get anywhere. So, we've got a spiritual hater. Right, this person doesn't like it because you've retreated from everyday life. And you've created a lovely space around you for introspection. And everything's going well for you. You're probably sitting there holding your fur babies. You've got your kids around you feeling wonderful. Yeah, and you're doing it right this time. And you are... Oh, we got it again. Worried about a project. So, you're obviously starting a project. Let's have a little shot. I'm going to really shuffle these, I am, because I'm going to mix them with them. I've got all my cards on the table, guys. <laughs> all my cards on the table. I have, and all I tell you everything. <laughs> Literally. That was a joke, by the way. I've always got all my cards on the table. That's why it's called Laid Out Bear, because I lay myself out bare for you. Not literally. I wouldn't want to put you off your dinner. But <laughs> I do tell you about myself, because I want you to be yourself. And don't worry what people say about you. And out yourself, because it's better. Because then no one's got anything to say. And at least they get the right story, don't they? Not one that they've made up. Oh, hold your babies has come out again. Some of you may be missing your children. Maybe you miss them being babies. Or you might have lost your kids. Or someone might miss you holding them like a baby. I'm feeling. 
yeah, give the credit, you the credit that you deserve, all right? Because you've been through a lot, and you have. I'm going to give you a good shuffle. Oh, good shuffle. I don't want the same cards. I've got so many cards here that haven't come out. Oh, October. So many cards haven't come out. When I do myself a reading, they're all different, babes. October. Right. So, you're very educated. Now, you are an empath, which you've got to be very careful about this because you're an empath. You take on everyone's emotions, everybody's feelings. And because you're doing it right this time and you're moving forward, I think that the person or people that you're dealing with, they want what you have because they've had a reality check. And this person is very entitled and they may be spoiled. They might have been spoiled as a child and just always used to getting everything they want. And they don't like the word no, and they don't. Now, this person could have been your best friend at one point and then turned against you. October, that's a really bad light, isn't it? It's not going to help there, is it? October, so it could be number 10. You could live at number 10, or 10 could just be a lucky number for you. Right, so you're educated. I think you're a lot more educated than this spiritual hater. That's what we'll call them at the minute. So this person's in victim mentality because you're doing it right. They're giving it the old boo-hoo. I think someone's worried about a project that you're starting because they know that uh, it's going to change your life. Because we are talking about the other person here because this is a karmic read. I really want some different cards, angels. Please give me some different cards. If they're the same cards, there's nothing I can do about it because they're in your energy and they won't get out. And they're thinking the same old thing over and over again because these people are just stuck in a loop. They probably wanted you stuck in a loop. I fancy some onion water. <laughs> oh, blimey. All I'm going to do is smell onion now all night. This person might um, feel you're like an onion. They might feel like there's layers to you and they have to peel you away. I'm getting that, like you're an onion. And maybe they didn't like bother to even peel you away. I bet you've got loads of things about you. Like you could actually feel you like an onion. There's so much to you. Don't know where I've got that from. But I do feel like that. I think this person didn't even really know you. I think they didn't even bother to even spend time to get to know you. I think this person feels like they know you, but they don't know anything about you whatsoever. Right, what we got here? Oh, here we go. So this person sleeps around to show off their disability. <laughs> Maybe they got a disability. Maybe they're just not good at it. And you thought it was a bit of a disability. So this person sleeps around to show off their disability. Oh, this person doesn't like it because you're focusing on happiness. And I'm glad you are. Keep focusing on happiness because that's all you want. Now, you might get a text from this person or a visit because this person's feeling very scared. They might even write you a letter. But the only trouble is this person talks rubbish. Because they're a bit of that. And I can't even say it because I'm getting monetized. Oh, for God's sake. I say what I swear. Right, so they might be sending emails and texts. Or they might have done, actually. They might have. They might be scared, thank you, angels. Because they sent emails and texts about you. Because they wanted what you had and they were surprised how far you come in your spirituality. And I'm feeling this person sent texts or calls. Now, I think this person might have been found out about this. That they were not very happy for you. They were quite sad that you were surprising them. Energy. Right. Thank you, Angel. So I feel this person has been doing a lot of that through texts and emails or whatever, okay? Because this person was worried about you and now they are running scared because they realise now that you are very spiritual and they hate it and they're probably realising now that you're actually an earth angel. So now they're getting taunted and um, haunted by your angels and ancestors and I feel that very strongly. They might want to feel like they want to squeeze someone and hold them like because they're so scared. This person is, like, feeling a bit rough, you know, and they are. Yeah, because they're bullies. This person can't spend a minute on their own. I bet this person does never spend any time on their own because bullies don't because they have to go around in little packs. I'm going to let a few drop, okay, and then see what we've got. 
because I think this person just goes around in like packs, can't be on their own. You're a lone wolf and this person's like flocks together with everybody. Yeah, it's nearly over now, guys. And it is. I feel this person feels like it's nearly over for them because you're inspiring other people and they're finding out that you're quite rare. This is, yeah, this is what I'm feeling. Because this person didn't think you could do what you're doing, but you did, because you tried and tried again. And you only know if you can do something if you try. I think this person's very trying as well. Did you see that orb then? Go up there like that. You will see orbs in it at night. Yeah, so I think this person didn't realise you were going to try so hard. I think this person is trying, like I said... <clears throat> you're inspiring other people as well with what you're doing. You might even be inspiring this, pe this people, this person. It could be a lot of people. But I think this person realises it's nearly over now, guys. Yeah, I think they're realising that their stirring is over and they can't do it anymore. Yeah, because now it's all coming out, look, about you being honest and you being an honest person. You might be being honest about what this person done to you and being honest that this person was actually a bully and was bullying you. Yeah, that's what I feel. Right, so this person wanted to take away your freedom and your money. So they wanted to stop you from being free by you not having any money. Yeah, so this person feels like it's nearly over for them with money because they was not being honest. But now they don't like it because you're inspiring other people. Yeah, this person needs to get some rest. Yeah, because God's making it easier for you in your life now because you've been honest. Yeah, you're not this person's usual type. This always comes up for you. See, you walk in faith and this person doesn't. This person just walks around looking at people and being like a bit like womanising or whatever. And I think to you, looks mean nothing. I think you would rather someone who was in their faith. That's what I'm feeling with you. It's a bit mixture, this is today, like you and them. Right, let's see what else we've got, angels and ancestors. Whoa. Yeah, because you've improved your life. And you've got a lot of mo motivation as well. Your motivation is inspiring other people, and it is, because you're doing it right this time. And by doing it right, you become very educated Someone's got a secret crush on you. Mm -hmm. They have. It could be someone on social media that's seen you, or it could be a friend, or it could be an ex. But, yeah, someone likes your smile, and they like the fact that you laugh. I think this person likes your laugh. They might see you being really happy now, and that's why they got a crush on you. But this could be a new person or your ex. I'm not sure yet, but someone's definitely got a crush on you. But now we've got damage beyond repair. So it could be your ex that's got a crush on you because now they see that you're happy. This person could have been a bit violent with you, I'm getting. Or maybe they're violent with other people and you might not find this out for a little while. You might find this out and, and realise that they weren't like this with you, but they were with other people. You might be quite shocked. Or if you did get, like, this person was violent with you, I think it's going to come out. Right, so you're tired and you are. I don't think you can see how tired you are. You might be tired of keeping on going. Is this you or them, angels? Is this the collective or them? Maybe you're tired of, like, or you was tired... Because you might find it, you might feel like it's a bit late to do something that you wanted to do. Maybe when you was younger. And maybe you're just feeling tired of keeping on going. Yeah, look, get some rest again. So some of you, oh, this isn't about you. This isn't about you. This isn't about you. So someone you're dealing with, thank you, angels. 
someone you're dealing with needs to get some rest, maybe they are laying in bed. Yeah, I think someone you're dealing with is tired and they don't realise how tired they are. And this is not about you, so this is about them. So someone needs to be honest about how tired they are. Someone might be being tired, thank you, angels, of trying to make out they're happy and they're laughing and they're smiling. I think this person's putting on an act behind the scenes because they know it's nearly over. Guide me, angels. Because this person's got a secret crush on you. And it's driving this person crazy because you're doing everything right this time without this person. This person's getting tired because they're watching you, how inspiring you are. And they can't believe how much motivation you've got as well. This person is shocked how educated you are. I don't think this person even saw how educated you was. This person didn't think you was going to keep going. But where this person keeps going trying to watch you and trying to be you and trying to find out everything you're doing with an earth angel, it's making them very tired. Spiritual and above divine might be making this person tired so they do take a seat and sit down and maybe they need to get into their feelings. You might have been treated this person like a baby and you probably mollycoddled this person too much. I think this person's feeling it's too late to be what they wanted to have been with you. And all they've done is sleep around. They could have slept around with people on disability benefit or people that were a little bit like, not disabled, but just not fully the, the full ticket. And I think this person might have a bit of this come out. They might have to start being honest about what they've been doing because this is all this person does. And now they're not going to be what they wanted to be because they've wasted so much time because they give to everyone, you know what I mean, and take off of everyone what they've got. That's why this person's running scared now, because I feel this person is that, and I feel this person might be a bit older. So you might be getting a visit from this person, or a text, or an email, because they want to be with you now. I think, yeah, look, you spoilt this person. I feel you spoilt this person, and they've not been with anyone like you before. So they might be getting tired trying to pretend they're everyone's friend and it's really easy and I'm really happy and they might be overly doing it. This person's trying too hard. They are. But I feel they're still going around staring the pot and telling lies. This person could be quite sick, you know. Either sick to the stomach <clears throat> or just sick in general. Yeah, because you've got control. It's making this person sick. Yeah, this person is so out of control, like, not in control. This person can't even control anything at the moment, so they're literally shaking. And this person doesn't like it that you've got control. And that's the truth. That's the truth. This person might be shaking in their boots because you have told the truth about this person being controlling. They don't like you having control. They're shaking. This person might shake in general, or they might just be scared. But I think they're scared because of you being a truth teller, and they know now that you're telling the truth and that you're being very honest about them sleeping around. Sorry if I repeat myself, but I get guided, guys, all right? Yeah, this person underestimated you being an earth angel and us underestimated the divine and they wanted to steal your destiny. So they could have been a bit of a copycat, this person. Well, we all know who this is. Yeah, this person doesn't like the fact that you've got good looks as well. No, they don't. Yeah, look, see, it always resonates what I say. This person's so controlling. Thank you, angels. They always confirm, because I'm a bit confused in my head what's going on. So controlling, they've lost control. Thank you, angels. Because sometimes I'm getting downloads and I don't, I doubt myself a bit when I do this because I feel like I'm repeating myself and I feel it annoys you. Right, yeah, so this person, you have control and they're so controlling, they've lost control. Right, thank you. You might have had to have provided yourself with security from this person 
because this person was so focused on your happiness. You might need to like keep an eye out because this person is focused on your work. If you have a job or anything like that or anything new, don't tell anyone what you're doing because this person is really focused on you. It's terrible. Like, sorry, guys, this person oh, is not doing nothing, is it? This person's focused on you. This person is very angry. They're very angry. Yeah, this person's watching you. This person can't get you off their mind. That's their karma. This person, honest, honestly, yeah, this person, I was going to say Lee. Someone's name could be Lee or Leanne, because I wouldn't say honestly, but I wouldn't say Lee. Get this person off your mind. This person can't get you off their mind, and it's draining them. It's because they've been nasty, and now this is their punishment. This person can't keep their eyes off you. They're in a lot of thought about you as well. A lot of thought about you. This person's worried about you having money coming in. They are so money orientated, yeah? They want to know what job you're doing. So they want to know what money you're earning. Because this person thinks you've got unexpected income coming in. Yeah. And you might have actually got a camera on your door. You might have actually got security. You might have had your banks hacked or something like that. Right, let's see what else we get. Right, thank you, angels. Whoa. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Confirmation. This person's sick. This person could be sick as in sick with envy, green with envy, or just sick as in sick, feeling sick. Because now I feel this person knows that you are doing better than them. Yeah, and you you are getting so lost in what you're doing. You're not thinking about this person. This person feels sick because you're not paying this person any attention. And you're not. And maybe you don't need to provide yourself with security anymore because you're not really that bothered about this person. Maybe this person liked it when you had to get security with this person because they enjoy being angry and they enjoy upsetting you. This could be an Aries or you could be an Aries. Oh, dear. Yeah, this person doesn't like it because you make up your own mind now. And they took away your willpower, hon. And they can't take away your willpower anymore. And it's making this person step out of their comfort zone because normally they like to be in control. So this person's knowing now that they walked away from their wish fulfillment. And now you're getting new beginnings. You're getting a new life. You're getting freedom. You're moving on. You might even want to fly off somewhere. You're breaking free from this person and you're like a butterfly and you don't want to entertain these little caterpillars anymore. And you don't. You don't want to entertain these little caterpillar people. <laughs> Seriously, you don't. You're shuffling around. You're like <laughs> flying around like a butterfly because you've got new beginnings, love. Ooh. Yeah, you're not showing up for this person anymore and you're not and they don't like it. <laughs> Nah, they don't. I've got itchies. <laughs> Not only my angels. Nah, <laughs> this person don't like it because they've lost control. But that's what happens when you get controlling, isn't it? Because you get so controlling, you lose it and you don't know what to do. Because you shouldn't try and control things all the time because then they just, like, sent themselves crazy. My nose is really itchy. Yeah, this person feels like they're isolating. So they might feel like they're blocked. And they might feel like, not so much they're isolating, but they might feel like they're going to have to isolate because people know. They might be embarrassed that they said you weren't going to get new beginnings. They probably said that you weren't going to be very comfortable. They probably made you feel like you wasn't comfortable. Now they're not feeling comfortable, which is making them feel very sick. And they feel like isolated because everyone knows they're that. Why is my music stopped? That was weird. So this person could be isolating. You could be celibate. This always comes up. Oh, this person might just turn up, you know. Yeah, here we go. Confirmation what I just said. Thank you, angels. This person convinced people to hate you. And they convinced people to stalk you. And because of that, this might have made you sick. And now it's going to go back on them now because what they did. So they're basically getting their karma because they convinced people to harass you, stalk you, follow you. People may have filmed you and you felt like you needed security. So you might have had to have got security because these people were stalking you. Ha! And how the mighty fall. This person thought they were better than you and now they're falling. 
So this person's falling, but at the same time, they're falling for you. That's their karma. It is. Oh, how the mighty fall. So this person thought they were very high and mighty. You had good intuition with this person, and you did. And you may have had to have had security. I think this person did get people and haters and that, the little pick-me's to come out and follow you around. It might have even had you isolated at one time. They wanted you block these vile little creatures. This person might just turn up, you know, or might just want to turn up. This person might turn up out of the blue, but I think this person might be quite rude when they turn up, or they might want to be rude with you, if you know what I mean. Mm. This person might turn up uninvited, might even turn up at your work or your home. So I'm feeling this person might want to know what you're doing for a job. But I think you're isolating. So this person doesn't know a lot about you, I'm feeling. I'm being led to say that. So whatever you're doing, this person wants what you got. So they're still at this after all this time. But they can't get to you because you're highly protected. They can't. And they know the truth is out. And they're shaking in their boots, mate. Still sleeping around. They are still sleeping around with vile little creatures. Probably got babies with loads of people. They've probably got secret families, I'm feeling. This person's not sorry. They're just sorry they got caught. Now, <laughs> look feeling sorry and then it said not sorry right so this person might just turn up all right out the blue and go oh I'm really sorry for what I've done I feel really bad but really they don't feel sorry they're just sorry they got caught so if this person yeah hadn't have gone with somebody or gone wherever and it didn't work out would they bother to look be horrible but would they bother to come back then if it's all still dandy and hunky-dory no it's because they got caught out and they didn't like it. And this person could have got caught cheating as well with other little vile creatures I'm getting. Somebody could be following their intuition and actually out in this person now, I feel. Yeah, someone in a new relationship. I feel someone in a new relationship with them or who they got in a relationship whilst they were with you or after. I feel it didn't have a firm foundation and they had too much baggage. And now this person wants to be gone. They want to leave this relationship that they're in because they want a new relationship with you. But they can't because they've got no firm foundations. And where they've gone, there's no firm foundations. I think they gave this person a lot of baggage or the person they're with had more baggage than what they thought. This person might have a lot of kids that someone's finding out about their secrets. But I feel you already know this. I think you already know this. So now someone's lost control. Now they feel they're not in their comfort zone. So everything they did for you, guess what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. So you know how God pays his debts? Oh, I spat again. Always happens, love. Right, so you know this person, right? God pays his debts without money. Well, now it's an eye for an eye, mate. So this person now, everything they've done to you now is happening to them. So probably everything they've done to you, the person they're with is now doing it to them. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's not very good. They're not having a very good day then, are they? What are we on? 3320. Right, let's wrap this up. This person might be on rock. Like, yeah, tricks are coming back. Tricks are coming back. So this person thinks they can trick you again. Really? Why? How do they think they can trick you again when you're even more further forward? This person might feel like they're being wrongly accused. Like, they might blame this all on you. But they're actually accused, they've accused you for everything. I don't get that. So they know you're going through a glow-up now and everything's working out for you. So this person now has got a nasty mouth and has been going around saying all the wrong things about you and everyone's knowing they're a trickster. This trickster thinks they can still come back to you. Really? Delusional? But I feel this person's feeling down and I feel this person's on drugs or they've got a habit. This person could live in the country or they might not live in the same country as you anymore. But I feel this person might be in like a country like side place. But this person I feel is on drugs. This person could be on drugs and trying to work on themselves a little bit, but I don't feel it. 
I don't feel it. It says trying to work on themselves, but I don't feel it. I feel that this person's going to pretend to you and say that they're working on themselves, but actually they're still on drugs, or they might even be on like crack, I feel, or something, but they are still wrongly accusing you, and they are. And this person plays the victim. Yeah, help God help you. Tell him okay. So tell God okay. Give God the authority to take these people out. Because you have got the authority. You know that, don't you? Because you're an earth angel. So just help God help you and tell him it's okay. Tell him it's okay to help you. If you want these people gone, just tell him. That's it. Now I've had enough. I know you only think good thoughts, but you need to sometimes give your angels authority to go and kick their butt. You do. I've done it myself. I said, I've had enough of this now. Just do it. I'll give it to you. I used to pray for my ex. And I thought, why am I praying for you? All the nasty things that he'd done to me. And then I just told my angels, go for it. And then I saw him just getting more depleted, more depleted. And now when he goes past me, he can't even look at me. He does this. And I just laugh. Yeah, this person wants to compete with you. So you couldn't get back with this person because they're competitive. This person wants to be you. So if this person is a man and you're a woman, they are competing with you as a woman. So this person, this man, could be in their feminine, feminine side. So you basically could be a bigger man than this person. You haven't even got a... You know, probably get taken off monetization now. Willie. <laughs> I'm being serious. So you're a bigger man than this person and you're a female. But that, that don't sound as good, does it, really? Yeah, you can't compete. This person could have put you in competitions with people that you don't even compare with. Whoa, my ears just went, whoop, whoop. That's confirmation. So this person has downgraded you with people that they thought you were going to get jealous over and you couldn't even compare with these people because they're not even the kind of people that you'd be in competition with. This person wants to get back with you. Are you kidding me? This person wants to get back with you. Wants to get back together with you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Delusional. <gasps> this person wants to reflect all their guilt back on you. That's what they want to do. It says reflect their guilt. This person's a party person. They're still going out dating. They're still going out sleeping around, showing off their disability. And this person thinks they're a little bit up and coming and they want to come back and get on, get on you. And have a get together with you. They might want to get a get together in party with you. Ew. But no, you're more into like heaven and into God. Why would you want to party with this person when you're being your own best friend? This person thinks they've got away with this, mate. No, they ain't. No, you ain't now, mate. Only time will tell. Because this person's not got away with this. Because it's an eye for an eye, guys. This person's feeling empty inside now. Yeah, because they know you're a sweet little soul and they know that you're a sweet person. They lost an earth angel. And they also might be going around telling people that you're as cold as ice. Well, you might be. I've got that song. I'm as cold as ice, willing to sacrifice. Oh, they might try to sacrifice you. This person probably did scream and shout and let it all out, mate, about you. Loads of lies. And now you're not talking to them and they think you're cold as ice. Good, I hope you are. But you're not cold as ice, you're a sweet little soul and you're very clever and it's making this person feel empty inside because you're ignoring them. That's why they think they got away with it, because you're ignoring them and they ain't feeling the wrath of God yet, mate, but wrath of God's coming. They probably are feeling the wrath of God and they're that stupid, they don't even realise it. Seriously, this passion's delusional. Right, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Right, one more card, Angel. Right, here we go. Yeah, they hate your joy. Like, what way to finish? Sorry, they hate your joy. Just hate your joy. What, Wally? Why? Why'd they hate your joy? What reason? <laughs> they don't like it. Because you're going through a glow up. What did I just say? What did I just say? Listen, we don't lie here, mate. Let me tell you, my angels, thank you so much. They will, all, I doubt myself, like I told you, and I do sometimes because I think I repeat myself a lot. And in my head, I can hear my angels going, Carrie, stop doubting yourself. Keep going, keep going. I told you, you've got the authority to call out this person. You are in your place of authority now to so make clear decisions based on what you know to be true. You're in your authority now. What did I say? I love my angels. They always confirm what I've said. So you 
can give God the authority now or your angels to take this person out because you've had enough. And now you might have been so nice and such a sweet little soul. You're like, oh, no, save this person. I don't want anything to happen to them. Well, they did, Joe. They didn't mind making you feel empty inside. you got the authority now. And guess what? We'll end on this. You're just going into a beautiful life. And you are. And my ears are buzzing. What did I tell you? Mm -mm -mm. Good ear, isn't it? Because <laughs> guess what? Hard work pays off, love. Right, I'm going to go because it's getting late. I might do another one and just post it tomorrow, all right? I'm getting energy. Ugh. Might be the onion water. <laughs> Seriously. Right, don't worry, guys. Be good. I've gone over 30 minutes again. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to keep under 30 and I've got to start doing that. But I don't like leaving you because I feel horrible. And I live on my own and I don't. I get a bit lonely. No, I don't, but I do like being on here now. I really do like being on here for you. But if you like the video, can you like it? If you want to share it, share it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. It is free. And um, I know this energy does really, but it does help you heal, learning about what's going on. And it did help me heal when I was watching tarot. So it got me into tarot because I watched it so much. I thought, oh, I could do this myself. And then God sent me on it and said, well, yeah, but do it with your life and your intuition. And here I am. And like I said, my cards don't lie. They verify everything I say to you. I'm not fake, okay? I'm not here to, like, sway you to do anything. I wouldn't send you back to a karmic. Like, some reason, trying to go, oh, they know they love you now. These people aren't going to change. Why are they going to change when they've done no healing? They're not going to change. Look how long it took you to change, and you think this person has changed. I don't think so. Not at all, mate. They haven't. I'm not going to lie to you. This person's trifling, and they always will be trifling, they will. If you're not dealing with a karmic, maybe not, but most people are on the collective. And to be honest with you, I'd keep going and moving forward, because I think you've got someone new coming in that would be more, like, um, on your level, more spiritual, probably believe in God, and probably be more independent, won't be in your face all the time, won't want to sit there going, pick me, pick me, because they want you around 24-7, and I feel this person will be really nice. But if you're not looking for a person, this might just be like you loving yourself. <clears throat> so don't worry about it. You don't need... If you don't want someone in a relationship, don't worry. God won't send you someone if you don't want someone. Just tell him, no, get back. I don't want it. I tell God all the time, don't send me anyone. I met a right dish of a man tonight when I was walking the dog. And I thought, oh, no, I bet you're all right annoying. I bet you'll do my head in. And, yeah, he seemed nice. He liked my dogs. But I thought, oh, I don't know. He looked a bit hospicious. Like, he looked like he could have been a hoe, <laughs> seriously. And, yeah, he did have a nice body, and I ain't going to lie, I did look twice. And then I thought, no. He's like, oh, what's your name? Come around, do a bit of tarot. I thought, nah, because I don't really want to find out about your lives. It'll probably put me right off. And I'm all right on my own, mate. If I want to get another man, I'll get another dog. <laughs> I'm being serious. They're more loyal, and they smell better. All right? I love you guys. Mwah. Namaste. And thanks for coming to my channel, channel. <laughs> I love you. Adios. No, what a god of